What's good, YouTube? It's KB with Just Do Boxing back with another video. Before I get into the video, I want to say if this is your first time on the channel, do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell icon, and switch it to all so you can get all new notifications when I drop new content. We on our way at 1300 on the road to 2000 subscribers, man. I want to say I appreciate everybody that subscribed so far. It's greatly appreciated, man. So let's get into it, man. We got some, got an interesting turnout. Well, you know, we all knew what the turnout was going to be with Connor Ben, you know, versus Chris Van Hayden as Connor, the destroyer Ben, viciously, brutally knocks out Chris Van Hayden inside of two rounds in a fight where I felt like it was going to be a showcase fight for Connor Ben, regardless. I, you know, they, they keep calling these fights that he's getting into step up fights. I don't really see him in step up fights. I'm starting to agree with him in terms of competition because these guys are simply not testing him. And credit to Conor Ben for, you know, making an improvement in the strides that he's made as a fighter, as a as a boxer, man. You know, if you if you watch Conor Ben early on, man, his first ten fights, you would have you would have thought totally different than what you think now, you know, from his first 10 fights to the, this second half of his career, you know, the, the last 10 to eight to 10 fights or so, he's, he's shown tremendous and significant improvement in his boxing ability, his patience, his discipline, his control. He's more calculated as a fighter, you know what I mean? More disciplined, you know what I mean? He's just a lot smarter in there. A lot more patient and calm, and that's what I like to see in a fighter. You know, I've seen a development and a growth in Conor Ben. And, you know, just being fair, this kid continues to impress. He continues to get better. And not only does he continue to get better, you know, he's making improvements each, each fight. But now it's time for him to step up because, if I'm not mistaken, the last time I checked, he's ranked, like, number five in three of the main sanctioning bodies, man. So I think it's time for him I think it's time for him to get, you know, to start stepping it up and start facing top tier competition. Sorry about that. Got a phone call in the middle of recording. As always, people wait to record the call or text you. But like I was saying, man, it's time for the destroyer kind of thing. Just to really take a, a step up. Like I said, if you're ranked number five and three of the main sanctioning bodies out of the four, we don't need to see you in there with no more Chris Van Herdens or anybody like that. I think it's truly, truly time for him to, you know, start facing top 10, at least top 15 opposition. I don't, I'm not sure where Chris Van Herden is ranked, but I mean, at the stage he's at, you know, 34 years old, you know, he's only he was only stopped, I, I believe, once before this fight, you know, against Earl Spence, you know, and, you know. You know, Conor Ben did what he was supposed to do. He got him up out of there faster than he ever been knocked out. He got him out of there inside two rounds. And, you know, it was impressive. I give it to him, you know. But like I said, we won't really see what Conor Ben is made of until he steps in there with somebody that can truly challenge him. And I thought it was interesting how they, it seemed like they tried to get Amir Khan in the ring for whatever reason. And I think... I, that's just that just doesn't you know in terms of names maybe it gives Conor Ben a name on his resume, but I mean who really wants to see Conor Ben versus Amir Khan now maybe over there in the UK they might want to see it just because they still love Amir Khan but if we being realistic and us true boxing supporters true boxing heads we already know what the outcome of that fight is going to be because Khan's you know punch resistance is shot you know as soon as Conor Ben lands something of note which he will early. The fight is going to pretty much be over. And if you, if you hear Amir Khan speaking, do it sound like he want to get in there with Conor Ben? Absolutely not, man. So that's not a fight that I want to see at all. If we being real, if we being realistic, I know Virgil T's, you know, he had a health situation that, you know, he's recovering from. So, you know, he's out of the equation. But outside of him, man, it's time for not, uh, Conor Ben. Excuse me, I was about to say Nigel Ben. I'm thinking of his pops. But it's time for Conor Ben to start fighting the, the top dogs in the 147 division. Now, I'm not saying the Earl Spences and the Terrence Crawfords of the division, but why not a Boots Ennis? You know, why not fight a Boots Ennis? Maybe a, even a Danny Garcia, uh, you know, Keith Thurman, uh, you know, even a Kell Brook. Any of these fights for me, I think, will be decent fights for 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 Conor Ben, but not one with with Amir Khan because I just don't see that as much of a, of a challenge in my honest opinion. And 
I know they were throwing AB, Adrian Broner's name around in the mix. And I think, you know, not to say that Broner couldn't find a way to beat Conor Ben, but just at the stage that, that he's at, not not throwing a lot of punches, not really letting his hands go, that would be a bad style matchup for him and him being, you know, all for, for as long as he's been off, he's going what, on, what, it'd be what? 15 month layoff or so that he's on and you know before that he had a 25 month layoff so you know i don't want to see connor ben against somebody that is as on their way out or is trying to get the you know shake the rust off and get their self back you know in title contention or on the winning side you know so i, I just think it's time for connor ben to really challenge himself and you know it, it's a little alarming the, the opponents that he choosing to focus on like i said he called broner who's not been in been very active you know he mentioned Amir Khan he seemed like he was willing to you know do that fight but again do you want to challenge yourself or do you just want good names on your resume like do you really want to challenge yourself I ain't hearing nobody call out Jerron Boos Ennis or Virgil Ortiz it's, it's time for you you rank high enough to start calling out these other guys or at least like I said the Danny Garcia's and Keith Thurman's even the Kell Brook I'll settle for Kell Brook and Connor Ben I will watch it you know I think that would be an exciting fight but you know, that's just my thoughts, man. You know, I didn't want to make this video too long. Connor Ben, you know, he punched through Chris Van Heerden. It was a competitive first round. Chris Van Heerden got a, he got his licks in in that first round. But the second round, you know, Connor Ben just came on strong, hit him with a flush shot and just finished him and got him up out of there, man. Quick fashion, you know, so we didn't get to see much from him. So like I said, it's time for him to really test himself because the way they speaking on Connor Ben, like he's the best thing since sliced bread. and. Like I said, I've seen the improvement in him as a, as a fan of, or a supporter of the sport. I've seen the improvement. So he's definitely improved a ton. And I think it's time that he actually steps it up. These guys that he's fighting, it's just not much of a challenge for him. And he's going to keep punching through right through these guys until you put him in there with a real dog. And I think it's time for him to, you know, maybe step, step in there with a Jerron Boots in his. Why not? You know, all these fighters keep saying they're in here for legacy and they're in here to fight the best. And you put them in front of me, I knock them down. And, you know, one thing that, you know, kind of irked me. It's like, kind of, Ben, you have a certain energy towards the Broners or the Amir Khans of the world. But it's like, then when they ask you about, you know, more real, a real challenge, it's like, then you go to saying you'll let your promoter do it. And, you know, you're gonna let your team line it up for you. Whatever, whoever they pick, you're gonna just steamroll. I mean, you know, I, I, you kind of you you confusing me a little bit there. It's like on one end, you got the energy for these faded fighters or fighters that's not been as active or hasn't been really on the winning side of things. But then when it's when it's time for you to call out somebody that's more active, that's an actual threat. That that will be a real true step up. Then you start saying, y'all, you'll let your team make make the fights and things like that. And no disrespect to you, because I think Conor Ben's a dog and he's a much improved fighter. He's a hell of a young fighter. But I want to see that same energy you have for the Broners of the world, the Americans. I want to see you have that energy for Jerron Boots and this man. Everybody keep acting like this guy don't exist, man. I want to I want I know he got a fight May 14th, but I want to see somebody call. I want to hear somebody call out Jerron Boots and it's actually me, you know, but that's my thoughts, man. Connor the destroyer Ben he moved to 21 and no 14 KOs man y'all get in the comment section let me know who y'all want to see him in there with against man and as always get in that comment section and let me know if I gave the destroyer Connor Ben it's just do because that's what I do here just do boxing to the next one I'm out peace